Hi guys, it's Daniel from the Cerakote Training Room. Today we're going to be going over dry spray. What causes dry spray and what we can do to fix it. Uh, we'll go over some spray gun settings and some technique that you guys can use uh, in your own shops to reduce dry spray and get a better finish. One of the tricks that we use here uh, to reduce dry spray is proper spray gun adjustment. I'll walk you through that real quick. First is the fan pattern adjustment. Depending on the size of the part that you're spraying, uh, you're going to look for a fan pattern right around two to three inches wide. Start by turning that fan pattern out about one to one and a half turns. Next would be the fluid adjustment knob, getting enough fluid to come out of the gun. I'll start that somewhere around one to one and a half turns out. And air pressure is very important. H series products are going to spray right around 20 psi. Everything else sprays at 30 psi. So we're looking for a nice even oval, about two to three inches wide. We want to see this coating wet out nicely, but we don't want to see it push or muddle. If my fluids open too much, the coating will move. If it's not open enough, it'll be very dry. So look for that wet reflection. Another common cause for dry spray is improper speed and distance from the part. Being too far away or moving too fast does not allow the coating to wet out properly, leaving a sandpaper-like texture. Finding the correct speed and distance will allow the coating to lay out wet without pushing or moving. Regardless of the coating, metallic or non-metallic, the coating should lay out smooth and wet. Hope these tips help you guys out. For more, visit Cerakote.com.